Hey there, Tyler from Less Annoying Business here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get Google Workspace set up to work for your email. So basically, if you have a domain name like www.yourbusiness.com and you want to be able to send and receive email using Gmail, Google's email tool, um, there's a little bit of configuration that you have to do to get it working, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Uh, okay, so I've got two windows open here on the left. This is my Google Workspace account. I just did the sign up. I'm not gonna show you that whole thing because it's, you know, you just give it your name and address and stuff like that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but I, I just signed up and this is kind of the first screen I see here, which is activate Gmail. That's what they call it is activate Gmail. In this other window here, I have my DNS for my domain. So I'm using Cloudflare for this. You probably aren't, you're probably using something else. But it looks the same. Basically, wherever you bought your domain name from, maybe it's GoDaddy, maybe it's Hover.com, maybe it's Namecheap, just log in and go to the page where you manage DNS for that domain name. Um, and it'll look a little different, but it'll work the same way as what I'm doing here. Okay, great. So I'm just going to follow the instructions here. I actually haven't done this in years. Um, I, I think it'll be pretty straightforward. Um, you only kind of get to do this once, so I thought I'd record it the first time I went through this. Okay, so I'm gonna just hit continue here to start activating it. Um, it looks like they already realized that I'm using Cloudflare for my DNS, so that's great. Um, that means if you already have a domain name that you own, it should uh, identify that for you and send you over there. So that's perfect. Um, and it's just gonna kind of walk you through these steps. Sign into your domain host, that's what I've done on the right here. Go to your MX records, that's the, the DNS records really, MX is one type of DNS. Um, and then add MX records for Gmail. So we're just gonna have to, so I'm gonna go to add records, MX, um, and then it's going to give me the actual values that I need to do down here. So these instructions are just telling me how to enter an MX record. Um, when I scroll down here where it says MX server addresses, this is what I need, okay. So you're gonna create four DNS records. I know this all sounds confusing and you don't know how any of it works. I don't really either. I'm just following directions here, but I've done this a bunch of times and it's uh, it, it always works. So I'm just gonna copy this here. Um, so I, when I create a DNS record, the type is MX. The name in my case is the MX server address. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the mail server. You can see that. And the priority is going to be five. Um, and then I think you just want to use it. So basically you can set up mail for either your main domain. So for example, I'm setting up for lessannoyingbusiness.com here, or you can set it up for a subdomain, for example, mail.lessannoyingbusiness.com. If you don't want a subdomain, you just make this, the name is going to be an at sign. If you do want a subdomain, it would be mail or whatever. Most of the time when you set up email, you don't want to use a subdomain. So probably you want to put an at sign there. Uh, so again, the type is MX, the name is gonna be at, the mail server is going to be this first one here, and the priority is five. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And I just do that three more times. So come in here, I'm gonna copy this second row, and I'll make it this the at sign. Basically what's going on here is, you know, if one uh, Google server is down, this just kind of gives them fallback, fallbacks to try. You're kind of specifying four different servers that are gonna, be uh, used to host your email. Um, okay, and this is going to be number three. Oops, here we go. And the priority for this one's going to be 10. Because again, that's what it says right here. And then finally, we're on to the final row. Sign mail server and the priority is 10. Great. So I will go ahead and save that. Um, now, there's a final step here, which is get your verification code. And what it's gonna say is add another MX record just like you did above, but this time in the server field, which for me here, I'm gonna go back here. The, the, the mail server is going to be um, this special code. And this is just gonna be an extra thing to kind of verify. It's just kind of like a security thing. And then it says in the priority field, enter 15. Okay, great. So we'll go ahead and save that piece of cake. So as you can see, I'm looking at all my DNS records here. Again, if you're not using Cloudflare, it'll look different for you, but uh, different, different DNS records that I already had set up, but the key ones here, I've got these five new MX records. 
the first four came from this table, and then the last one, uh, I just put that in uh, as the server. So we've got all the DNS set up. I'm going to click this Activate Gmail button here, and it is checking it. Now, one thing to know about DNS, it can, in theory, take up to 48 hours, they say, for it to propagate. Basically, there's a bunch of different um, servers. Um, hmm, it thinks this one is missing. Oh. It didn't tell me to do that, or I skipped it in the directions. OK, real quick. Sorry, I think I missed something here. Oh, yeah, before you get to these, they give you one other one. Uh, this is These instructions could be more clear. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to do the exact same thing. It looks like there's one more that it was looking for, uh, an MX record at sign copying this one here. And the priority for that is 1. OK, no problem. Um, now I'm going to try this again. So this is a really nice feature they have that they will check your DNS records and make sure they're good. Um, but like I was saying, it can take up to 48 hours. In my experience, it never does. Normally, it's pretty close to instant, or if there is a delay, it's going to be 5 or 10 minutes normally. But in theory, you may save your DNS changes, and it may take a while uh, for Google to activate it technically. That's normal. Um, all right. So And yeah, it even says that right here. You can close this page. Uh, and return in five minutes. So that's basically it. Um, once you have this working and once you've waited for the lag to finish, uh, you can just use Gmail the same way you, you do for your personal at gmail.com address. You can now use it for your domain name. So I just set up tyler at lessannoyingbusiness.com. Um, and if you email me there, I'll get it through my Gmail interface. So I hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And one thing I do want to mention, I'm going to throw in the description here of this video. Uh, I do have other videos on how to buy a domain name and how to do basic DNS stuff. So this was specific for uh, just getting Google uh, Workspace set up. But if you want any other DNS advice, I'll put some links in the description. All right, have a good one.